So now I will talk about how can we suppress the speckle. This is our image. In the left side we can see the image and we have selected one ROI in the red box. And if we do the filtering, we can have the, uh, we have option to do the filtering using Gaussian filter or the median filter or some averaging filter. We can remove the speckle. You see the right portion of the image? The speckle is removed. It's not that much grainy if you compare from the left side of the image to the right side of the image. It's pretty much clear. Now, how can we quantitatively measure the speckle? How much it reduced? So, we can calculate the speckle contrast ratio before filtering and after filtering. So, the definition of the speckle contrast ratio is the standard deviation of the intensity within that box divided by the average intensity. So, our ultimate goal is to this is our image and so before suppression of the speckle we can see a lot of graininess in the depth profile but after suppression we see not much fluctuation. This is uh, the first image, the left side image is the speckle image. If we do the filtering then speckle will reduce and we will be able to see the image. Now I will compare it uh, different uh, method of speckle reduction. I will compare with the Gaussian filtering method with uh, what, what is the how much it reduce and what is the impact on the resolution because you cannot just reduce the speckle too much. If you reduce too much, you will lose the resolution, both the axial resolution and the temporal resolution. So you have to look for that too. Say for our case, we have, we have selected some of the ROI here. This is ROI1 and this is say, ROI2. If I zoom in, you can see that there is a speckle here as well as a speckle here. Now, say, we first, I will explain the data using the Gaussian filter. What is the impact of the Gaussian filter? This is actually the summary. The Gaussian filter that we used has the following properties. We use in the x direction, we use the 2, y direction uh, is a 15, and in z direction size is 11. This is where we are calling the sigma equal to 1, the most basic case. Sigma equal to 1. And if we calculate that before speckle reduction, before doing anything, if we do that, we see that we see that in different reason, reason one and reason two, these are the speckle 0.82 and 0.57. But after filtering with this filtered size, we can see that value is reduced. The 0.82 becomes 0.286, and also this one reduced to that. What about the resolution? The lateral resolution was five before doing any filtering. After filtering, it increased from 5 to 6. And the Excel resolution is 1.5, but if you do the filtering, it becomes 2.4 for this case. And one thing we see that if we increase the size of the filter here, size of the filter from 1 sigma to 1.5 sigma and more, we see that the resolution becomes bigger, which means that we will not be able to distinguish between different features of the tissue. So let's see how does the image looks. So these are the images with the Gaussian filter size 2 multiply 
this is the Ga Gaussian filter size and after depth and focus correction it looks like that and the depth profile for the Excel uh, resolution is like this before filtering and the lateral resolution we can calculate from here now if we do the filtering we can see that there is a lot of graininess is gone and also there is a change of the uh, depth profile so it's smooth so you cannot do much filtering if you do that it will be gone and in this way actually we can calculate the how much speckle is reduced and for each method how much is reducing so this is using the Gaussian filter now these are another image for also this is also using the Gaussian filter with uh, uh, increasing the size of the filter if you increase the size we notice that it becomes homogenized and resolution degrade a lot and if you go sigma equal to 3 it reduce further so as you increase the size of the filter you will see that the resolution becomes low and image becomes more homogeneous so you have to uh, identify that what should be your actual size of the filtering and which filtering method is giving you the data data so this is all about the Gaussian filter that is you can see in which case you are reducing more so from this data we can see that in sigma equal to 2 and sigma equal to 3 not much change and also if you increase the filtering size it will take a lot of time to process the data so based on that you have to take the decision that which filter size you want you can use sigma equal to 2 say in this case and it will be fine now let's go to the uh, another filtering scheme say just uniform filtering this is the most simplest filtering uniform filtering is uh, nothing but uh, just you are doing some averaging of different area so uh, say we select this size a21 and in z direction 15 these are all before filtering data so after filtering we see that it reduce a lot uh, so and also this method is fast is very fast so this is another way. Let's see some emails. How things goes on. So this is uh, this is the final image after removing the speckle. So if you increase the filtering size over time, we'll see that it it will reduce the, uh, the speckle. So here the uniform filter is reducing more. now if we look at another filter called the median filter so how do you see in median filter uh, i use the matlab one so default one and you can see that it reduces a lot but it takes it takes a lot of time for the second size of the filter 821 and if you look at the this the data after filtering it's reduce a lot so you have to compare all the data you have to compare for the same size in all the uh, data after filtering you can try with the Gaussian filter you can try median filter you can try the uniform filter and you have to look that in which case you are reducing the speckle but you are still keeping the resolution the axial resolution and the lateral resolution you cannot degrade the resolution that much so that's one of the goal and you have to select the size 
and also you have to look for that for the same size or for the same type of performance in which case you are you are doing the computation more uh, like faster because if you process the data a lot of data that means this time like how much time it takes to do the filtering will be a major factor so and also it depends uh, like on the sample size like each uh, different sample has the different properties so for one case you might use the median filter that's the best fit but for the other type of data it might not be the best fit you might need to use the Gaussian filter or other type of filter so you have to see you have to follow all the steps and see which way you can generate the good data thank you very much